Hi, how's it going? And thanks for joining me today. So the topic I wanted to talk about today is with peritoneal dialysis, can we swim or bathe um, while under peritoneal dialysis? And the answer is maybe. So here's the tips I usually talk to folks about on our PD support groups, um, peritoneal dialysis support group, which is the largest Facebook support group on peritoneal dialysis on there. There's many other great PD focused support groups on Facebook, uh, but that has the, been the longest running and the largest group um, so far, and I am an admin for that group. So you could join that one or any other one. I'm involved in many of them on Facebook, so um, you'll find me up there as well. Um, and as usual, you can always comment below if you have questions or different things that suggest for other members, um, and other folks dealing with peritoneal dialysis. Um, so the thing with peritoneal dialysis and swimming and bathing. So swimming in particular, a lot of people like to swim. A lot of people enjoy being in the weather, water. Uh, the recommendation on that a lot of times with clinics, PD clinics, is that um, you should not do that. And the reason for that is your exocyte is more prone to infection risk um, and getting peritonitis, which we talk about in other blogs, um, when it's submerged in water. Now, the clinics and nephrologists that allow their patients to do that first is make sure your nephrologist verifies that your exit site is healed close enough um, to go swimming. So that's the first key. Um, after about a year on PD, my nephrologist came and told me, even though I didn't ask for it, she said, did you know you could swim? And I said, oh, okay, that's cool. I used to swim a lot in high school. Um, and so that's an option, but I never took the risk with over five and a half years on PD to actually go swimming because in my opinion, there's a lot of other impurities in the water um, and I just don't wanna have that infection risk, especially when I'm listed for transplant um, to avoid that as much as possible. So when your catheter site and excess site for PD catheter is submerged in water, there's a higher chance of it getting infected. Uh, with the impurities and also um, similar to the reason why some clinics, a lot of clinics don't recommend that you actually bathe, um, is that you're submerging the excess site and your catheter in impurities. So the way to do that, and this is from folks that have done it um, well without getting infection, and also various nephrologists, is that um, once they verify your exercise healed and closed up enough to be able to do this and get submerged in water, you wanna have coverings such as Tagaderm. Um, a lot of folks use the six by eight, um, which is a large Tagaderm that you can buy on Amazon or at pharmacy sites um, real easily and affordably. You would put that over your exercise site, over your catheter and transfer set so that uh, you can cover that and try to keep a tighter seal that's more waterproof that's perceived it's not 100 percent, but it is more waterproof than if you just left it out in the open or just use regular gauze so that's one option um astonomy bags or colostomy bags um, some people use those when they go in the water and uh, they just don't worry about what people think um, when those are exposed or sometimes they put it underneath their bathing suits but they would put that over their exercise transfer set and catheter so that, again, it creates a wa more waterproof seal. Some people take the extra step of doing both the Tagaderm seal as well as an ostotomy bag, and that's sort of twice the protection, right? So if you do that, again, you're li limiting and decreasing the risk of that being exposed to the open water as well as the um, creating seal there, a uh, double seal. Um, a lot of folks have mentioned that if they do it like about an hour before um, and it's not super hot outside, those seals typically hold in place. Again, I have never done it, but those are the tips from a lot of the other PD members that enjoy going swimming a lot if they live near lakes and oceans. So um, that might be something you talk to your care team about, your PD nurse and your nephrologist about. Um, how to do those things properly, where to order the stuff. Um, and then kind of get an idea of what they think. For the new folks on PD, I recommend you hold off, okay? Because the first step is making sure that your exercise healed well enough so you could do treatment 
and you get used to and adjust to the treatments and um, not jump into the bathtub right away, not jump into pools or oceans right away. Um, just give yourself a little bit of time to get used to PD, make sure PD works well for you. And then, of course, I always say enjoy live travel and do things, but you wanna still minimize the risk of getting peritonitis because when you get peritonitis and infection risk, you could go septic, it could affect your overall health, it could cause you sometimes to lose your PD catheter and not be able to do PD again. So um, you want to minimize all those risks. And again, you want to stay healthy if you're looking to do a transplant, being listed for transplant, so that um, there aren't infections and different risks. Because every time you have an infection or surgery, transplant team tends to make you wait a little bit longer before they clear you and offer you a kidney. And trust me, they see all those records, they know all those records, they have Transplant centers have these little computer systems called Epic now, where they could download things from like all different hospital systems and regions. Um, of course, they encourage transplant recipients to still let them know when they have infections, surgeries, or hospital stays, because that's a little bit easier than downloading it from systems or sometimes it's missed on the computer systems, but they, they can't see it. So if you try to lie to them, uh, that's not really worth it, because they, they can tell uh, most of the time. So. Um, yeah, so those are the tips. Now, in terms of swimming, um, understand that um, salt water, lakes and oceans are usually recommended um, because salt water helps kill some of the germs and bacteria in the water. Um, but again, think about some of the oceans now. There's reports in some oceans about uh, flesh-eating bacteria and things like that, and things are being contaminated more and more. Um, so really, you know, make a decision for yourself. Um, in pools, they recommend private pools that's well chlorinated, um, that you control the infection risks and the impurities a little bit more. So uh, private pools in your own backyard or in your friend's backyard. Um, public pools tend to have a lot of kids with germs and different body bacteria. Maybe they don't shower when they get in and out of those public pools. Um, so it's a little bit more higher infection risks at those public pools. And you might want to go and take your kids and just sort of enjoy, dip your toe around it, be out in the sun, be near water, uh, not fully submerge any of your catheter If you're getting near water, still do the coverings with the tagaderm and astronomy bag just to protect yourself um, in case you slip in or fall in. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't mean that you can't take your risk to water parks and things like that. The kids go in, go in there, they're not doing PD. They, they're not having a disease or anything um, unless your child is actually on PD. Um, but just be aware of these certain things and really think about whether or not it's worth the risk to you What's the risk benefit of that water enjoyment versus being able to stay on PD and having a little bit more flexibility in terms of your dialysis treatment, in terms of your travel plans, um, and things like that. So um, yeah, keep those things in mind. Um, in terms of bathing, uh, bathing, submerging, um, some people do use the tagaderm to bathe periodically. Um, if you do it a lot, be aware you're just increasing that infection risk because you're basically soaking and submerging your catheter and transfer set in that dirty water, um, which is why most clinics recommend just doing showers because you could sort of wash that away and it just drains down your system instead of being um, in warm water, which is what people typically bathe in and um, also um, where, where that tagaderm seal may break easily because of the warm water. Um, and also, you're, you're basically just sort of soaking in dirty water yourself. Uh, so it just depends on your personal preference. A lot of ladies do like to bathe periodically. Um, that's an enjoyment for them. That's a, that's a sort of a relaxation uh, method for them. Um, so I don't say that you should totally avoid it, but make sure, again, your PD exercise is closed well enough to do that take the protections, change out your dressing, clean up your catheter and transfer set afterwards um, and just freshen up. Maybe what you do is bathe and then do a quick shower to rinse other stuff off and then come out, change out all your dressings, your gauze, your transfer set, get all that cleaned up per the training methods that your clinic trains you on and follow those procedures without skipping steps because when you skip steps and omit things, that's when infection risk does increase and it tends to happen for most people. So um, if you enjoy PD, you don't want to um, give the chance that you're gonna be off PD for any period of 
period of time and have to do hemo um, for a period or the rest of your life. So um, weigh out the balances for yourself. I mean, most folks are adults, so you can make those decisions, obviously. Uh, but enjoy your travel, enjoy life while you're on dialysis because as I usually say, dialysis helps you to do the things you want with the folks that you want more often so that you stay healthier. And uh, hopefully while you're waiting for transplant and, and getting that transplant option down the line, um, PD is a good dialysis modality for you. Um, there are definitely other options like home hemodialysis and regular in-center dialysis that some people go back to after um, being on PD for a while and it works better for them. So um, those are all different sort of adulting decisions that people like to make. Um, so hopefully this helps you with some tips in terms of bathing and swimming. If you have other questions relating to this topic or any other topic about dialysis, PD, transplants that I could try and answer for you, definitely comment below. Um, if you have other tips for other folks, comment below as well. Uh, if you have not yet and you enjoyed the content I'm putting out on these topics, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, and ring that little bell, click that little bell so you get notification for new content coming up. So uh, thanks for joining me today on this topic on PD, swimming, and bathing. And um, enjoy life while on dialysis and do travel and live. Thanks.